Millions of distressed homeowners, as you know, are struggling to get loan modifications before they lose their home to foreclosure. But many times the homes are being sold while the owners are still trying to negotiate with the bank. Seven on your side's Michael Finney yeah. is here now with the story of a Sam Leandro woman. Well, you guys have reported on it so mm -hmm. many times. For many homeowners, it is a race against time. An overwhelmed financial system is processing complicated loan modification paperwork, but often it's way too slow and the homes wind up on the auction block. Here's one woman's story. Regina Harper is happily baking cakes in her tiny kitchen and settling in the living room with her pet. It wasn't long ago she thought she'd lost this place for good. I remember when I used to look at the four walls and think, how long have I got to be here? The past two years have been filled with ups and downs as Regina struggled to keep her home, starting when she fell behind on her house payments. Every day I used to dread coming home from work. I used to sit in my car for about an hour or two before I would come up thinking, oh man, that note is going to be on the door. Sure enough, she arrived home one day to find a foreclosure notice slapped on her front door. My first thought was then, where am I going to sleep, you know? However, there was hope. Saxon Mortgage let her try to save her house by modifying her mortgage. Regina entered the government's Making Home Affordable program, and her house payments were cut in half for a trial period. It was a huge relief until, out of the blue, a shocking phone call. To tell me that, my, um, that I was no longer the owner and that my place was sold, and now it's uh, showing as uh, Deutsche Bank as the owner, and that I had to move. It turned out, while she was busy modifying her loan, the foreclosure wheels had still been turning. Her home had been sold out from under her. It's a quite common occurrence, unfortunately. Consumer credit counselor Rick Harper says this has happened to many distressed homeowners. While one part of their bank is modifying their loan, another part is on its own track, rolling towards foreclosure. I'm dealing, I think I've got my modification, I'm ready to go, and then I'm notified that my house has already, I've already lost my house in foreclosure. I didn't know where I was going to go and what I was going to do. I, I was really lost with them. I really thought I was going to be homeless out there on the street. However, there were still more ups and downs to come. First, Saxon admitted the foreclosure sale was a mistake due to inadvertence and oversight. It returned the home to Regina, but not before she was kicked out of a home affordable program. She now had a new mortgage company, Aquin Loan Servicing, and her payments shot back up. That's when Regina contacted Seven on your side. It was the first bit of hope of somebody listening to me. We got a hold of both Saxon and Aquin, and the two mortgage companies agreed to work together for us. Weeks later, Regina got the good news. We have a 25-year fixed. Because of the mistakes, Aquin put Regina back in the home affordable program after all. Her house payments were cut nearly in half to $1,660 per month, and Aquin agreed to forgive $126,000 of fees and principal over three years. That put Regina squarely back in her little kitchen. I have a roof over my head, me and my dog. <laughs> I can say this is home. Thanks for having on your side. <laughs> There are new rules in the Making Home Affordable program all to reduce this kind of problem. The rules now say once you make all your trial payments, your loan modification automatically becomes permanent, and that should stop any foreclosure. Now, if you need help, we have a list of government-approved housing counselors at abc7news.com. Click on 7 on your side. And that one new rule, I think, is going to help mm. so many people that we've run in and tried to help before. It seems hit and miss in some of the cases. <sighs> totally. Yeah. Thanks, Michael, very much.